All right, we're looking at a 2019 Continental Cargo 7 by 14 tandem axle enclosed trailer that we're converting into a camper. And as we pan around, you notice that we added some graphics to the outside to make it a little more distinct in case it disappeared. We'd have a better chance of getting it back. The first thing we did was to take the plywood out of the inside and then we installed one inch uh, hardboard insulation to the interior walls and ceiling. Then we had to put the plywood back in. And that's what you see here. Following around, we come around to the back ramp where we uh, built a wall and created a little garage area. And this is for storage of uh, maybe a bicycle, a scooter, uh, grill, tools, generator, gas cans, that type stuff. We also, you see, we installed a 5,000 BTU air conditioner and a sliding window and a little escape hatch that we can use to pass objects through or in the case of an emergency we could exit out of. We also got graphics on the passenger side and we have a 32 inch RV door and lock. We also have the bar lock that we have for uh, security when we're away from the trailer. We've installed a mosquito net screen to keep insects out. All right, before we step inside, let's take a look at our floor plan layout. As we walk in, you'll notice on the right-hand side that we've built a, a desk, a work desk. We've got our computer monitor on there. We've got storage underneath as well. And you'll see here in a second, we're, this is how we framed it up using two by twos and a Craig pocket hole system. We built a shelf on top. You can see our speakers up there. And then this section back here, we, you'll notice up top we uh, have some lights and some outlets. And you can see here we created a cable tray across the top on both sides where our elect electrical uh, wires run. Under this portion of the desk, you lift it up. We've got a curtain in the front there. You lift this portion of the desk up, and below is our home-built uh, composting toilet. And you can see here we've uh, this is it uh, in the fabrication process. There it is with the top open. And then inside we've got a, a bucket for number two and a urine diverter for number one. You also see on the side here we've built a stand-up cabinet Right now there's a curtain in the front, an ugly paisley curtain at that. It was on sale, the material was on sale. Here you see it framed up before we had the curtain on it. And here's another shot. All right, as we scan around to the back, you notice that's our bed. And you see uh, this is when we were framing up the bed. We got the, the support underneath. Over in the corner, you see our electrical in, uh, inputs. We got a uh, AC fuse panel and a DC fuse panel under there. Lots of storage area too. Here you see we divided it up in three compartments, so it'll be easy to access that storage area under the bed. We've got a window in the back with a sliding a slider in it, and it's got a screen so we can get a breeze through there. Just got a piece of cardboard with Velcro on it to use as a curtain to block out light when we want. And also you see where it's an escape hatch. We've got a shelf over the head of the bed. And you see our kitchen here with our sink. Here it is in the shop being built. We've got a little slide out workstation or cutting board. A shelf over top. We've got our propane stove there. Underneath, we've got sliding doors. On the left-hand side, we've got our water supply. We can get four of those five-gallon jugs under there. We've got an electric pump. On the right-hand side, we've got some slide-out drawers. And in the bottom there, you might be able to see we've got a 10-gallon uh, gray water tank. There's our workstation again. Yeah, that's our gray water tank on the very bottom there. Right, you see our bed again. 
got a design where you can lift it up, easy access to the storage compartments underneath. And there's a ledge back there, so it'll set upright whenever you need to get to the to the compartments. Again, over in the right corner, you can see our electrical input power supply. It's a 12-volt power supply. We can use when we're hooked up to shore power. Lots of space under there. I plan on putting some plastic tubs under there to store things. And then the bed comes back down. Thought about making somehow making that a little couch area too. Not sure quite what I'm going to do with that. All right, back around towards the front, and that's pretty much it. Back outside. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Please like, please subscribe. We got more coming. Thanks.